Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showrooms and today we're going to go over some troubleshooting tips for the Altura Photo wireless flash trigger set for Canon. We're going to go over the basic functions that will guarantee that you can troubleshoot any issues that you have with your Altura wireless trigger set. Let's take a closer look. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that these guys are communicating. So that means that you put the batteries in here correctly. You're going to follow the nomenclature for your polarization and it's all always listed on the actual unit. So here you're going to put this funky 12 volt battery and you want to make sure that you have the polarizations set correctly. And on the receiver, you're going to use the AAA batteries that are supplied. And again, you're going to follow the instructions for the polarization, which is listed in the nomenclature on the inside of the actual unit. Now, if you place the batteries in here correctly, and you set this to flash, notice you have three settings. You have off, camera, and flash. Switch it to flash, and when you press the trigger on your transmitter, it changes color and gives you the actual communication that you're receiving on the actual receiver. If it doesn't happen, that means that the batteries are dead or placed in there incorrectly, or you might have a defective unit. The next troubleshooting technique is to make sure that these tabs which are in here are all facing the same way. So notice how here I have them all facing upwards towards the on and the Y and KO or you can have them all facing down to where the numbers are one two three four those are the default settings and you want to make sure that whatever setting you place on here and again make sure that you place the batteries in there correctly following the nomenclature for the polarization now you're going to do the same thing with the transmitter so you want to make sure that the transmitter is all set to the one two three and four so now since both transmitter and receiver are set to the same frequency when i press a button they communicate and you get the synchronization light Now the next troubleshooting technique is you want to make sure you take your camera out of auto. You cannot have it set to the green auto mode because in this mode the camera is going to want to pop up the flash, the internal flash, and you don't want to set it to any of the scene modes. So you have to set your camera to M for manual. When you have it set to manual, now you can pick the corresponding shutter speed and when it comes to the Altura wireless trigger set for Canon you want to never go above one two hundredth of a setting. So once you set your shutter speed anywhere between one thirtieth or as high as one two hundredth of a second you now have the flash synchronization so that when I fire off the camera the flash fires off and that solves that troubleshooting problem. Now the next thing you want to make sure is if you are using a strobe or a flash, you want to have the unit set to flash mode. So you flip it forwards and you notice as soon as you do that, it will fire the flash off and now I can actually fire it off with the trigger. And notice how every time that I press it, that's when the flash fires off. If you have it set to camera, what happens is it's not synchronizing properly and it could actually shoot multiple times every single time that I press a shutter once. So you want to make sure you have it set to flash where it's now synchronizing every time you fire off your camera. Now, the Altura wireless trigger set does not transfer any wireless information from the transmitter to the flash. So you cannot have your flash set on TTL or on high speed sync so basically what I would recommend is set your flash to manual like I did here and then you set the power output. So this way you can get the proper connection and be able to use the trigger set correctly. 